when I was a young fella growing up, um, 10 years old, I started to win the yacht club. My parents lived nearby and uh, of course I wandered down there and fortunately uh, my father was able to buy us a little training boat. Um, well, it was part of a building program of 12 of the boats in the club and my dad took one up and we helped build the boat and then we sailed it. And I did that reasonably successfully, winning a couple of state titles and spent hours and hours in the river and then continued with my sailing right through to now, you know, so active, actively involved for 40 years or so. so. But nowadays uh, we've still got the boat I've had for 20 years, uh, the trailer sail, and family tells me I'm not allowed to get rid of it. <laughs> and uh, we started that now with a very competent crew. Um, I've got some youth and, and also some very mature and skilled crew, but then there's some youth uh, that come on board and I um, use them to be my, you know, start the motor and help steer when I fall down the bottom of the boat so they grab the tiller and steer the boat when I'm trying to get back up again and <laughs> things like that. So um, they're my helpers and they really enjoy it and appreciate being able to help and learning from us and being part of the team. Loving life at the moment. Loving life working uh, with uh, some caravan restorations and working, having the opportunity to work with some, some couple of boys from Wynyard High School, another one we worked with last year. Uh, and, yeah, uh, hopefully passing on some good information for them and not just in uh, practical skills but also, yeah, life skills as far as we sit and have a chat about life. I'm a um, semi-retired, I suppose, um, gentleman, currently aged 53. Probably a bit young to be semi-retired, but uh, I guess some circumstances have attributed to that. I was under uh, in the manufacturing industry for 30 years. 25 of those years were spent with uh, Dale Elphingston and then Caterpillar in the last 10 years. My medical condition, Kennedy's disease, um, made it very difficult for me to be able to get around the company, um, uh, talking for long periods, uh, being able to project my voice was difficult. Uh, slurring my words is probably a hear now bit. That's part of a condition. Um, but more so mobility, being able to get from place to place and get upstairs because I can't climb stairs very well at all now. Um, but yeah, that was starting to be evident and it was time that I had some my time. I've got a, a really nice network of friends now. I still see a couple of guys from Caterpillar who I really appreciate their company. But generally, work life disappears pretty quick um, and you move on to the next phase. So that's that also makes you realise that work isn't everything in life. Family are important. I've been able to spend some time with my parents uh, who are not so well of late and spend time with my family at home who I haven't seen because I've been working for many, many years. <laughs> so I'm enjoying that as well. People um, like to see people as they were in a small community, um, um, so they see them changing. Um, yeah, sometimes harder. If you're anonymous in a bigger place, it doesn't matter so much, probably. Everyone's different. You've got to realise that, and everyone's different personalities and makeups, and there's a lot of stuff in behind it you don't see to make them the way they are, so you've got to accept that and treat them as you'd like to be treated yourself.